All right, so here's the stack demo.java file inside our chapter 15 class notes. Um, and I just want to do a few examples together of um, push and pop, just so you have something you can refer to later as you work through the practice programming activities. So in the main method, let's um, start by creating a stack. So we're going to create a stack of commands. This is kind of like we're implementing an undo stack like we would in Google Docs or something, okay? Um, stack is the class name. It's imported up above. Um, like all of our collections, it's generic. So we're just gonna have a stack of strings for this example. And I'm gonna call this variable commands and I'm gonna assign it a reference to a new stack. Note that um, in APCSA, we just tried to keep everything consistent. So we'd write this like stack angle bracket string. And over here we'd say stack angle bracket string. Um, we don't need to do that. We can just say new stack and have the open and close angle bracket and not put the type inside because the Java compiler can infer it based on the top of the type of the variable commands. So you'll see this syntax much more commonly. Um, in APCSA, my motivation was let's keep things as simple as possible. So like always type the name of the class and the generic everywhere. But now in software engineering, we'll realize like in reality, it's a little bit more subtle than that. Um, and we can do things like this, um, which just make it less cluttered in our code. All right, so let's, um, let's like emulate that we're doing some sort of a Google Doc undo feature. So we're gonna push a bunch of commands onto the undo stack. So we're gonna say commands.push, and we're gonna say our command is insert hello. In reality, if we were actually implementing this feature in Google Docs, um, we would have a command class, um, and that command class would have properties that represent the command being done. Like, where is the cursor? What was typed? Um, what menu item was clicked on? All of those types of things. It would also have behavior both to execute that command and then to undo that command. Um, and that's called the command design pattern. Um, we studied several design patterns throughout APCSA, and we're going to see a bunch more this semester. So, so this is basically is like we're in Google Docs. We type H-E-L-L-O. Cool. Um, and we pause. And you'll notice like in Google Docs, how much is undone at once depends on like how you typed it, right? So if you type a bunch of stuff together, that's captured as a single command on your undo stack. And if you hit undo, like the whole sentence goes away. But if you type hello and then you pause and then you were to, let's say, insert a comma and then pause again, that would be a separate command on the command stack. So um, so we say hello, comma, we wait. It's Monday, we're a little slow with all this typing. Um, so then we insert um, a space and we pause again and consider what should come next. And then we're like, we're in computer science class. We're gonna say the world, the word world, hello world. But then we're like, oh, that's like used all the time. Like, do we really want to do that? I don't know. So we can say, maybe we put a question mark there because we're not so sure. What's that? Put it in the console, like print it out and stuff? Yeah, we're going to. Um, and then we, we become more confident. We're like, it doesn't matter that everyone does hello world. We like that. And so we're going to delete the question mark. And we're going to replace it with a exclamation point. Cool. There's our stack. So we're going to print the stack. The top of the stack is on the far right. We usually think of a stack as a vertical thing, right? Like a stack of plates, a stack of trays in the cafeteria, a stack of candy in the Pez dispenser. Um, but when we print it, it's gonna be printed horizontally. 
So the top of the stack will be on the far right. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to do system.out.println, and we're going to print the commands. So type that, go ahead and click run, and you should see the whole stack of all these different commands that we have simulated here. I'll do the same thing. Run. There we go. So here's the top of the stack here, the insert of the exclamation point. Questions? Um, internally, it can still iterate through it. You can still, there are other methods on the stack. Like you can still get at different indices and stuff. There's still like a get method like you would have in the, in a list. Um, it's just that uh, they're not as efficient. So usually we don't use them, but that's what's used for when we print. And I think, I uh, extend vector, never mind. Um, let's simulate doing undo. So we're going to say simulate the user pressing the undo button four times. So we're going to write a little for loop. For int i equals zero, i is less than four, i plus plus. And we're going to do pop. So commands.pop. Pop returns a reference to the element that is being popped off the stack. So let's print it out. We un are going to undo the command. So run this new addition here to see how we can pop things off the stack. I'll do the same. We undid the exclamation point, the delete, the insert, and typing world. Cool. The only method we didn't explore here is the peak method. Um, but the peak method, again, it's, it's very similar to pop in that it returns a reference to the element on top of the stack. It just doesn't remove it. It leaves it on the stack. 